Let's now have a look at the next chemical property or organic reaction which we're going to study and that is oxidation of alcohols. So as we've studied in the first chapter, oxidation is basically addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen, right? When we add oxygen or when we remove hydrogen from a compound, we say that we're doing oxidation, right? Now, oxidation of alcohols is very special because there are some particular things, particular cases and particular things, which uh, particular uh, reactions which are fixed, particular processes which are fixed in this oxidation, right? So let's have a first definition of this. This basically refers to the oxidation, that is addition of oxygen, addition of oxygen to an alcohol, to an alcohol in the presence of in the presence of a suitable oxidizing agent a suitable oxidizing agent in the presence of a suitable oxidizing agent okay so in our course basically there are three main oxidizing agents right so there are three main oxidizing agents in our course okay So these are basically agents, basically catalysts, basically reagents that help in the, uh, they, that facilitate the oxidation process, that help in the process of oxidation. So there are three main oxidizing agents in our course. The first one is acidified potassium dichromate. Acidified potassium dichromate. The formula for this is K2Cr2O7H+. Okay, slash H plus means it's acidified. Next is 1% alkaline, that is 1% basic, 1% alkaline potassium permanganate. 1% alkaline potassium permanganate. The formula for this is KMNO4 alkaline or you can even say slash OH minus that's up to you. This is also called Bayes reagent B-E-Y-E-R-S reagent okay because Bayer was the scientist who I think discovered this. So Bayes reagent. Next the last oxidizing agent we have in our course is chromic anhydride. Chromic anhydride, otherwise known as chromium, chromium trioxide. Chromium trioxide, okay. So the formula for this is CRO3, chromium trioxide and chromic anhydride up to okay so this is also an oxidizing agent right the purpose of these two okay is complete oxidation okay meaning it gives you the direct final product right okay it gives you the direct final product basically in organic reactions we have the reactant okay then we have something called a reaction intermediate okay which we which is not there in our course right that's why i haven't mentioned it till now so we have a reactant it undergoes reaction and first it forms a reaction intermediate but this reaction intermediate forms for such a small amount of time that we can't see it and this quickly changes again reacts with the rest of the catalyst or whatever is left and forms the final product right what these two reagents do is give us this final product okay they give us this final product but this chromic anhydride is a reactant oh, sorry is a reagent is a is an oxidizing agent which gives us the reaction intermediate okay that is the product for when we use this agent we get the reaction intermediate as the product 
and basically this is mainly used in primary alcohol oxidation and i'll tell you what primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol are in just a minute right so it is used mainly in the primary alcohols oxidation right so i hope that's clear these are the three oxidizing agents and i hope the definition of oxidizing and oxidation is also clear right now let's move on to the types of alcohols right again i don't think this is in your course in so much detail but again i'm just telling you because it gets very very easy to understand and if you're giving a competitive exam this is just beautiful you can do a lot a lot with this and you, it's basically extra knowledge helps you with that so types of alcohols there are three main types of alcohols okay there is a primary alcohol okay in primary alcohols the carbon attached to the alcohol okay the carbon attached to the alcohol is attached only to one other carbon the carbon attached to the alcohol that is the functional group oh is attached to only one other carbon right now there may be more than two carbons in the atom but they are attached to this so further like this right but to this main carbon there is only one carbon attached like this one right you can see that only one carbon is attached to the main carbon which is attached to the functional group and the rest of the bonds are occupied by hydrogen or by something else right so that is a primary alcohol in which the carbon attached to the functional group is attached to only one other carbon atom second is secondary carbon sorry secondary alcohol and you can pretty much guess what it means now it means that 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 particular carbon which is attached to the functional group is attached to two other carbon atoms so if it's c and this is oh so this carbon is attached to another carbon and this carbon is attached to another carbon right so you can say that this main carbon atom right this main carbon is attached to two carbons right in this case the main carbon is attached only to one carbon but here the main carbon attached to the oh is attached to two other carbon atoms as well primary alcohols are also called first degree alcohols okay they're also called first degree alcohols and secondary alcohols are also called second degree alcohols okay so i hope it's clear what are primary and secondary alcohols primary alcohols are where the carbon attached to the hydroxyl group is attached to another carbon only one other carbon and the secondary alcohol is an alcohol in which the carbon attached to the hydroxyl group is attached to two other carbon atoms right lastly we have the third kind of alcohol which is the tertiary alcohol okay and in tertiary alcohols i think you can guess this now very very easily that it is attached to three carbon atoms so the main carbon to which the oh group is attached is attached to three other carbon atoms like this right so this is the main carbon and it is attached to three other carbon atoms right so that is what we call a tertiary alcohol and another name for tertiary alcohol is third degree alcohol okay is third degree alcohol so i hope it's clear what are primary alcohols tertiary alcohols and secondary alcohols primary alcohols to which only one carbon atom is attached secondary to which the main carbon has two carbon atoms attached and tertiary alcohol to which the main carbon has three carbon atoms attached right so that's i hope absolutely clear now we come to the main part that is the oxidation part right now we're going to take this alcohol wise right the type wise first is the primary alcohol now primary alcohol or first degree alcohol undergoes oxidation okay in the presence of k2cr2o7 acidified okay that is the first oxidizing agent or kmno4 alkaline okay so either one of these oxidizing agents it undergoes oxidation in the presence of either one of these oxidizing agents and gives us carboxylic acid of the same number of carbon atoms okay it gives us the carboxylic acid of the same number of carbon atoms okay so i have that's absolutely clear oxidation of first degree alcohol in the presence of k2cr2o7 acidified or kmno4 alkaline gives us carboxylic acid this o basically this is an o in brackets is basically shows oxidation okay 
Now, when we oxidize a first degree alcohol in the presence of chromium anhydride, that is chromic anhydride or CrO3, then we don't get a carboxylic acid. Then we get the reaction intermediate of this reaction. So, first degree alcohol to the reaction intermediate. Then from reaction intermediate, we get carboxylic acid. But the CRO3 maintains that first degree alcohol should go to the reaction intermediate and then it does not allow it to go uh, to go form a carboxylic acid. So, first degree alcohol oxidizes in the presence of chromic, anh chromic anhydride to give an aldehyde of the same number of carbon atoms. Okay, it gives us an aldehyde in the presence of CRO3. Okay. For example, let's take a first degree alcohol, let's take ethanol, C2H5OH, you can guess this, it's CH3CH2OH, that carbon, that is CH2OH, that carbon attached to two hydrogen, one OH and then one other carbon atom, that's it. So C2H5OH, that is ethanol, undergoes oxidation in the presence, okay, yeah, in the presence of K2Cr2O7, acidified. You can even use potassium permanganate, it will give, give the same result. It will give you the carboxylic acid of two carbon atoms, that is CH3COOH, that is ethanoic acid. Okay? But if the C2H5OH, that is ethanol, undergoes oxidation in the presence of CRO3, then you will get aldehyde, that is C2, not C2, let's, let's do it like this. CH3, CHO, right? And this is your ethanol. Okay, ethanol, null, and this is null, IUP is a nomenclature. So, here you can see CRO3 is a partial oxidizer, gives CH3COH, which is the reaction intermediate. And this gives us the final product that is CS3COOH. Okay, so that's with your first degree alcohols. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now, keep one thing in mind that the CRO3 does not usually work with secondary and tertiary alcohols. We don't usually use it with secondary and tertiary alcohols. We mainly use it with primary alcohols. Now, we're going to look at the two other alcohols. I'm not going to use CRO3 there. I'm going to use directly your potassium permanganate or your potassium dichromate. The second is with second degree alcohols. Now, second degree alcohol... With, will undergo oxidation in the presence of K2Cr2O7 acidified or whatever KMnO4. Whenever I say this, it means KMnO4 too. Okay, remember that. So, in the presence of this, it gives us ketone. Okay, of the same number of carbon atoms. So, for example, we have propane 2 ol CH3, C, C, H, OH, CH3. This is your propane 2 ol Now, propane 2 ol undergoes oxidation in the presence of K2Cr2O7 acidified. You will get ketone of this. So, what happens? This H and this H gets removed. So, you will get CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is propane 2 ol So, can you see here this is a second degree alcohol because this carbon is the main carbon and it is attached to two carbon atoms, right? So, it gives us propane 2 ol right? This is one example, very good example to understand second degree alcohol. So, the second degree alcohol undergoes oxidation to give us a ketone of the same number of carbon atoms. I hope that's absolutely clear to all of you. Let's move on to the last uh, alcohol we're going to discuss for the day and that is third degree alcohol. Now third degree alcohol undergoes oxidation in the presence of K2Cr2O7 acidified or Bayes reagent that is KMnO4 alkaline. It will give you an alkene. Okay. It will give you an alkene. This is the basic format. Let's take an example. Uh, this for example C CH3, 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 OH. So, what is the name of this compound, can you say? It is, now this is a, actually a, 
a bit confusing but anyway this is 2 methyl because when you number this you know let's number this compound so when we are going to number this compound we're going to go 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 either way and this is 2 methyl because it's a methyl group so 2 methyl propane 2 ol Okay, so the second carbon attached to the OH. So, 2-methylpropane-2-ol. Now, 2-methylpropane-2-ol, which is a third degree alcohol, undergoes oxidation in the presence of acidified potassium dichromate. And what will you get? You will get CH3. This OH will go. And what will you get? CH3. C. CH3. And what else can you do? Can you tell me what you'll get? You'll get CH3 and this is a CH3 here. You will have a double bond here. And what is this compound going to be? It is going to be, it is going to be, can you guess the name of the compound? It is 2-methyl propene. 2-methylpropene if you name this compound because obviously it's a multiple bond we get the lowest possible number and here if you start you're going to start from here 1, 2, 3 so this is 1 prop 1 in right and this is 2-methyl because this is the 2 and this is 1 and this is 3 so 2-methyl group and prop 1 in so propene right so I have it's absolutely clear that is an example of the third degree alcohol oxidation right usually they don't ask you third degree or second degree it's very rare in your CBS examinations they'll ask you but they uh, the first degree alcohol is important so I hope you're clear with that absolutely thank you very much for joining me so that's all with the oxidation of alcohols in the next video we're going to start with a new organic reaction thank you very much